You're my best friend forever. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to Do what I said, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the hill are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the fountain. Then we'll talk more. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear, starlit skies. Straight on into the trigger the detonators our... prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. Knew you would come below the cage, down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps... disobeying me.
That's me, there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you. And that Pip-Boy you're wearing. You're smart. Clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. I'll be good this time. I promise, Master. Just keep him away. Makes dog hurt so. Dog, back in what the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for Dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts hurts and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here and it's pulling and kicking again. Tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. 
And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer, follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. No. I don't trust you. Even if you're not working with him, you'll fall into the same trap he did. You may think you can take your revenge. That'll change. You'll start thinking there's a way to have it all. They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise. And then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then... Then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. 
You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent, before the cage. Elijah, human, weak like all of you are, feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure, and madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master, his name meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you do. And so do I. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage, end you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. 
I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to... fight in. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. To the fountain and its ghost, then. Set that radio signal on repeat. Have, have a seat, and then we'll talk. The Sierra Madre. Mm, beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. At least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Sounds like you've done some blue-collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still, get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cheddy pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. What are you talking about? That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like Medage finally caught me. I'm listening, partner. What's next if we're death till we part? Not leaving me much choice. 
The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. Not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. I'm not walking out there on my own. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir here. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. Right, partner. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the luck to the gate, that is.
Thank you. 
Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next TT. I've unlocked the west and east gates to Puesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets, a pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence only firing the event is. Get the three in position. Then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre, we're plundering history. Taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. Taking that human zone. So, are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? Maybe Dog will obey you. I'm not as easily broken.
Уилсы. If you bring dog out, then I'll make sure you pay in blood. Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength in the right combination. Besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. We'll see. If it isn't the cl- I'll follow you. For now. Switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves, after all. There must be some trick to it. Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> you can lead me to water. No. Being trapped in this courtyard while lights are flashing and sirens are screaming, I can survive one or two of the inhabitants. More than that, even Dog would have to work to keep full without being carved to pieces. And the gate here, if it somehow got locked, it'd be the holding cell at the police station again, except with no way out. You're right, but trust. Trust is such a harsh word. I prefer mutual need. It's more honest. No, I can help you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to... other flesh. It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you, and the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. Two chunks of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. You better have brought enough meat. I can feel Dog's teeth tearing at my ribs, hungry to get out. You're good at fetching. This should keep him where he belongs. For now. I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. You're at the Ghoul's Gala area. Now make him stay. So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks... Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. 
So what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? Uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Take? It's not going to take anything, because you couldn't offer me anything. The ghost people will come out of the woodwork when the gala event starts blaring. And when they see me trapped up here, it's curtains for Dean. Really? That wasn't the we're both bomb married talk you gave me when we first met. Look, you could offer me a steel-clad contract for a world tour of all major cities with Imperial records. I still wouldn't stay here. No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. Well, yeah. If the hologram system still worked, that'd do the trick. Okay, all right. You call up some of those old world stiffs. That'd be an audience I wouldn't mind having below. If I remember correctly, there should be two holograms you can switch on in the area. Just don't remember how. Do that and I'll consider waiting on the rooftop. Well now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out and I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right. Look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen. When this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't.
You inside. Can you hear me? Power's fluctuating. Emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. Thought that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything foreign, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here... Shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful, or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still. My signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. <laughs> Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now its guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me, just need to wake it up. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yeah, yeah. Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the Going to make speakers. casino burn. No more. Hurry up and deal with the FEV reject. Going to make casino no use to us. burn. No more being. Back in the cage. Stop what you're doing. We can. Can hear you now. Not much longer. Not listening to me. Tired of being your minder. Tired of putting Dog to sleep. He wakes up in cage, hungry. Dog wants to protect you. Always Must be a back entrance to the kitchen. Check the, the main casino I... side corridors. All fire now. Bur you? Master? No, not master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. Now, dog. <sighs> Will kill us both unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's... Hungry. Come here, or Dog will chase you, break you, until you no run anymore. Hmm? Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want Dog to... Uh, listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him to pull on his chain. As hard as... Dog can. What Master wants, Dog can do. Please don't be mad with Dog. Master? Master? Dog? Dog is listening. D both of us are. Tell him to listen to me. Then we can get out of this. Finally. And... Now Dog is listening to voice. Your voice only.
Dog can see the voice. Looks just like Dog. And Dog looks just like me. You've hurt yourself. Inside. Do you see now? See? In the water. Dog understands now. Dog knows what happened. If dog... If dog goes into the water, dog can't help if master gets mad. You were nice to dog. Dog wants to help. He's right. If you merge us, then I... We... Or whatever we become... We can't help you when you reach whatever's at the Sierra Madre's end. And dog... Dog doesn't want to unremember you, may forget you. We will forget almost all that has happened here. You'll be alone, at the old man's mercy. Like Dog. Like me. Dog understands. Dog has done bad things. Knows why voice was furious with him. Tired of the anger. Thank you, Courier. Even if it's only for minutes before the Sierra Madre kills us all, then... Dog hopes you find a way to save self, like you help Dog. And... When you meet him, Find a way to save yourself, as you tried to save us. Otherwise, I'll be upset with you. You were there all the time. All the time. You were there. And so close. Together. Who... Who are you? What is this place? I feel as if I've woken up. I don't know you, yet I feel like I do, and a feeling of... gratitude. I... forgive me, I... I'm wounded. This chain, this bear trap on my arm. How did I even get this far with these wounds? The pain is excruciating. I... I need to rest for a moment. Thank you, for whatever you have done. I will remain here, need to get my strength back.
So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. Now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. Me? I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started. And before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. But that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open, nowhere I was letting you get in first. I walk in, there's a flash, and I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. He always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. You think I'm the bad guy here? I'm not the one slapping bomb collars on innocent folks and flicking the switch. And I'm not stabbing you in the back. I was facing you all the time. This heist, I planned it lifetimes ago. You and that old man, tourists. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. No, no, the collars. I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated, but it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth sailing to the Sierra Madre. I'm not a betting man. I've come too far to leave it to chance. Way I figured it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is. And where the safest place in the whole theater is. Backstage. You, you're trapped down there. And you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors, or cancel security if you tried. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you belong out in the audience. I mean, not like, uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. Of all the... Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here... You won't live long, trust me.
Jesus, piece of junk. You hit that terminal, didn't you? Didn't want security showing you out, eh? Let's see. So, can't leave well enough alone. Have to enter the room. Some things are better left in the past. Something's gotta give Now, deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. You think you have what it takes to beat me on my stage in my town? All right, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same, you'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. All right, all right, look. I'll hand it over, I promise. No need to get all upset. We can both come out ahead in this. Look, I give you this key, and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. And as I see it, I just gave up my ace in the hole. So the only chance I've got left is making sure you don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. Not after all this time. I waited an entire lifetime, sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything, untouched. Then you show up, thinking you can just take it all from me, you and the old man running the show. I planned all this. I made it all happen, not you. Sure, yeah, I have the key on me. I made other keys, too, to unlock the casino in ruin Sinclair, finally. After all these years. No. Now, 
Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the vault. Jackpot. Another fragment. Good. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment... Feels like the... You made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. Do I? Sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it, it hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. This is Knight Christine Royce of the Brotherhood. Christine Royce. You're back. You sure you still want me here, collars and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. He... cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart, so I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable, left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. 
There was someone else, though, who came along. Knew about Elijah. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. The gala went off. The switching station opened up. I thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. Station worse. Got outside, saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. Try and reason with him, see what happens. He's so lost in his technology, I don't think he even understands why anymore. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of medex was dispensed for... Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. No. They run a lot deeper than that. While I was hunting Elijah in the Big Empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It... did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words. It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. I can still do math, formulas, equations, writing poetries out. Yeah, I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static, others just gibbering wrecks. Never going back. And Elijah was on his way here, so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the electrodes into my skull and turned my head into a flashlight. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. Another thing Elijah has to answer for. Alright. I'm just glad I can answer you now. Elevator to the casino vault is locked. Find a way to open it. Present. That's all I need. Now, go to the main lobby terminal. Play the music sequence together.
You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Was it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? Love makes people do strange things. Won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't... connect. If they loved each other, and they were together. I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? All right. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I... just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. I... I... can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not going to show himself until you go down there. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... All right. All right, I'll... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <sighs> Sounds like you. Ugh. Feels like a sore throat. Begin again. But know when to let go.
Don't move. Don't go into the vault and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. traps down there. Another security system. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things change. And here you are. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. Veronica? She survived Helios? She would. Resourceful. As for losing Helios 1, that was the only outcome aside from retreat. NCR swarming like ants over old world relics. Hoover Dam. Helios. I won't let those children seize anything else. Harden. McNamara can't stop them, won't, so I will, with the old world as my weapons. Attack? No. Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be, undisturbed by man. I'll send the cloud, the holograms. Bring noon in the eye stand atop the Helios One Tower again. I'll scour Hoover Dam with the cloud, rain its walls with spears from the sun, with an army of old world ghosts behind me, holograms all. I'll kill them until it's only me. Me, alone, in a quiet world. In a world that's nothing like what happened at Helios 1.
No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. No, I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. might destroy access to the data, not the data itself. Besides, there would be safeguards in place. But, you recognize the value of what's down there. You would no sooner destroy what's inside the Sierra Madre than destroy yourself. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Huh. Clever. Whoever designed the Sierra Madre, their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. Think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all... You think you've outsmarted me? You can't get away. You're the one on the leash. You always will. You won't get out. I'll bring the whole Sierra Madre down. Bury you here. You've escaped. You can't outrun me. You are always under my control. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? 